Assalamualaikum and good day. We are going to cover the Karnok map. Okay, so previously we have covered about um, mean term, mixed term, canonical SOP, POS, and Dom. Assalamualaikum and good day. We are going to cover the Karnok map. Okay, so previously we have covered about um, mean term, mixed term, canonical SOP, POS, and Dom. Okay, so now we go further on Karnok map. Okay, Karnok map uh, is a K map. The other name of it is Vesh diagram. So we have this combin uh, like um, this one is for two variable and this one is for three variable. For example, in this one they are using mean term. And if you notice the combination here is here is zero 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 one 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 and one zero. Okay, so it's a change of uh, one in at any place. Okay, zero zero then you change one then you get this one and you change to another one. Okay. So I don't want to read details of this. You guys can do on your own. Okay, but I can give this. Okay, you guys can read because this video, even though you don't have module, you still can read. Okay, you can pause the screen. Okay, you can pause the video and read yourself. Okay, now we go to this fill in the kind of map for our four all prime numbers within the range zero until seven. So, so you know, zero until seven. In the binary, you will have um, zero, 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 one, zero. 0 and 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1. So this is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay. And it says that uh, fill in the kind of map for all prime numbers within the range 0 to 7. So it means the function that we produce at the function of 1 produced by a combination that yields a uh, a prime numbers so what is prime numbers you must know what prime number first prime number is a number that is divisible okay divisible by itself or one okay so you see the first prime number is this okay so you have one the second prime number is this and this one is the third prime numbers and this is the fourth prime numbers okay the rest the rest is just zeros okay okay one two three four five six seven eight okay so you have eight combinations so the next step is to make the kind of myth a b c <coughs> so a possible value of a is this for bc the possible value there is four possible value, right? So zero, 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 one, 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 and one, zero. Okay. Now we see for the first function. Okay, highlight first for easy. Okay, distinguish. So you have um, zero, one, zero, zero, one, zero. Okay, zero one one and one zero one one zero one and one one one. Okay, you have this. Okay, so this one is uh, true table and came up for a prime number detector circuit. Okay, prime number detector circuit. Okay, truth table and came up for prime number detector circuits. Okay. So the rest of it need to be filled, need to be complete. Okay, the rest of it is zero. Okay. And then um, actually for this, um, we can do some simplifications later. Okay. So, okay, fill in the kind of map for the function. Okay. And then now from, from this, you get a k-map. What for, what if you get a a function for example f equals to a b plus a c for example okay and then they ask to fill in the k map okay so first you need to do the all possible combinations that have with this okay so f equals to a b plus a c 
then you introduce for here you introduce c plus c bar because it's equal to one here you introduce b plus b bar equals to one because you want to complete them with all the variable possible okay a b c plus c bar plus a c b bar plus okay and then this one you have a b c plus a b c bar plus a b c plus a b bar c okay and you know this one is identical, so you only need to write one. So you have A, B, C plus A, B, C bar plus A, bar, C. Okay, so you know this for the for the SOP, okay, for the SOP, this one is actually 1, 1, 1, and this one is actually 1, 1, 0, and this one is actually 1, 0, 1. So then here summation m so you can have actually value of five six and seven okay now we want to make a k-map out of this okay okay so five six seven so you have zero one you have uh, you can put in small for you for for easy distinguish okay four five six seven but if you understand don't need to do this this just wasting time so then you get take one here one one because five six seven right then the other rest of them is just zero okay now this Okay, maybe like I told just now, we can use it to minimize the circuits. Okay, to minimize the circuits, uh, you guys can read here. Okay, I I I show the screen here. Okay, so you guys can read. So I won't go through here. Okay, so we straight go to the uh, how we are going to loop. Okay, example looping of for three variable. Okay, how we can loop it. We still uh, about mean terms, okay? We will go about max term later on. So, uh, for example, if we have um, okay, one loop or cover all mean term in rectangular of power of two, okay? Here, you have two, one, two, three, four. So is this is two to power of two. This one is 2 to the power of 2, 2 to the power of 2, 2 of power of 0, uh, 2 to the power of 1, 2 to the power of 1, and 2 to the power of 0, okay? So that's why it's rectangular of power of 2. If the main term may be grouped more than one way, choose the biggest and simplest loop, okay? For example, this one, right? You can actually make um, a 2... From here, you can, make actually, you can actually make two smaller groups, okay? But... We want the biggest one, the biggest and simplest loop. So instead of having two, we should have one loop covering all. Okay. So main terms that's already covered can be used. For example, if you have one here, okay, we still can use the we can still reuse it. Okay. For example, if we have one here. And then the Boolean function is complete when all main terms are covered. Okay. All one should be covered. If you have one here and you don't cover it, means your Boolean function is incomplete. Okay, you need to cover all the mean term. Okay, a mean term covered uh, for the function of one, right? Okay, mean term. Okay, now simplify f a b c this one when in canonical form to form the function becomes this one. Okay. Simplify F A. Okay, I just write it again. So the question asking about simplify F equals to A B C plus A bar B bar C plus A bar B C bar plus A B bar C bar plus A B C bar. Okay. So here you know it's H E zero 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 and this one is zero zero one. 
Okay, because it's about in canonical SOP. Okay, canonical SOP. And this one is uh, 010, 100, and this one is 110. So when you make up the table, the truth table, with three variables, okay, One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, okay. So this is your f function output. Okay. So it says zero, zero. We produce one. Zero, zero, one. We produce one. Zero, one, zero. We produce another one, and one, zero, zero. Another one here, and one, one, zero here. Okay. The rest, the rest are zeros. Okay. So you have uh one, two, three, four, five. Five, five ones and three zeros okay so then we make a corresponding okay a corresponding k map okay corresponding k map so this one is three so again a b c okay then you have uh, two possible value of a and four possible combination of b c zero 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 one 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 zero okay so first is what zero 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 one zero one zero one zero zero and next is one one zero okay here okay so for the canonical SOP, okay, canonical SOP, so now uh, when enter to commit the function contain two loop, okay, so we need to know how to actually looping, okay, so here you need to make sure that your looping is correspond to the rectangular of power of two, okay, rectangular power of two. So first, you can see the biggest loop that you can do to cover all of them is this, okay, this one. Okay, however, we need to make sure that looping will cover all ones. So the next one need to cover this one. Okay, then from here you have 0, 1, 1, 1, right? Okay, if you can see what is the common value, common variable, uh, common variable for this loop. For example, for this loop, okay, we go for this loop first. What is the common variable that they share in common? Okay, we have zero, one. It's not common here. However, you can see zero. You can see zero, one is still not common. However, they share a. They share a common of. C equals to zero. So that's why here we take the common one, which is the C bar. Okay, remember why C bar? Because it's SOP. And how about this one? What is the common? You see, they have the same A, which is 0, and they have the same B, which is also 0. So, for this one, is actually A, B bar, okay? Because they have in common. In common, that's why this one will create a minimized version of the circuits, okay? Now, okay, now we go to the rules to summarize Boolean simplification using kind of map. First, okay, we're not going to loop... Uh, verb the one we're having the function of zero okay for this one okay this one shouldn't we should only looping the one with having one okay this one is for the mean term okay for the mean term and sop okay so and then no diagonals you cannot do looping in diagonal shape like this this is invalid but this one is valid okay because this can be horizontal or vertical this one is invalid and it's only power of two like i told you guys just now two n right so this one is 3. You don't have the 3 in the 2 power of 2 power of n. This one is also wrong. You don't have 5. This one is correct because it's equivalent to 2 to the power of 1. This one is correct because it's equivalent to 2 to the power of 2. Cell. Okay? Now, and this one, like I told just now, each group should be as large as possible. Instead of having 3 smaller groups, you can have actually 2 loops. Okay? Which one did cover the most of them? So, and then everyone must be in at least one group. Okay, you need to put every once, every once, 
in a cell uh, in its own loop okay this one okay in one group again group may overlap it's no problem you can just overlap like i shown you guys just now okay and then group may wrap around table okay this one is just like the one that i showed just now it's wrap around table okay here and then you continue here okay it's wrap around table so no problem this one wrap around the table okay fewer numbers of group possible instead of like this instead of having how many groups are there um one two three four five i think so you can actually have only have two okay you need to have minimum as numbers of group possible okay and then um this is the four variable kmap it's just the same the same thing uh, the same rules just the number the is uh, have more inputs that's all so you have m0 until you have empty m15 okay the same arrangement the same arrangement you see 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 okay then this the way of you uh, looping okay the same for here what is the common function that they have they actually see, share similarity of 0 0 bar but the rest is different combination right that's why we have f equals to a bar so this is how cannot map help us to simplify okay how about this one is a b c okay you can you see a b it shares the same value of a b and the c is still is still the same which is one so that's why a b c so the rest you can you can understand by yourself this one um this one is the same you want to find the common okay here the common you can see that it shares the similar value of a which is one so a and how about this one it shares similar value of d okay so this one is a d okay and how about this is group group with itself so you need to you take all a b c d okay a bar b bar c and d bar okay so um using kmap simplify so you guys can try yourself and next we go to the don't care cannot map okay so don't care is actually we don't care about the status of the inputs okay the status of the variable whether it's zero or ones okay so we simplify okay now in the kmap don't care input are marked as this i think you guys know already when covering min term they can be treated as one to maximize the loop size okay it's different okay now we have in the min term and don't care condition okay don't care condition in kmap okay in kmap they provide some functionality so if you have uh if you want to covering the mean term okay this don't k can be treated as one our objective is to maximize our loop size on the other hand if we want to treat this uh, as zeros if you want to treat the uh, don't k as zero we try to reduce the boolean terms okay so this is an advantage of having uh, don't care because we, uh, we can assign uh, values to it okay now we go to the example 6.5 simplify the expression f equals to uh, m equals to which is this one is the mean term uh, m2 m6 x7 and we have don't care value at uh, 3 and 5 combinations okay so you can see this is the corresponding value okay for the function of f equals to summation of m267 plus d35 okay and we see the we see first initial uh, resulting kmap okay based on these conditions okay so here you have 267 which have the function of 1 so you have here and 35 don't care 
here and the others the other is just zero okay so what we can do uh, to k map because we want to simplify our k map we want to take advantage of don't care so here you see there is only three values of one however we need another one to make a a bigger loop containing two uh four variable so here we can assign don't k with one so to maximize the loop size okay so it Okay, we can assign it to have one okay the initial one then this one okay then we can loop okay so this is advantage having them don't care in our um, function okay next uh, next we cover the cannot map the cannot map for the max term so what you guys understand about max term Max term is about the product of sum, right? Product of sum and it is about um, the capital M, okay? So the mean term they will use, they they are using small capital M, a small M, okay? So now we go for the next is for K map for max term, okay? What we have learned so far about max term, it is about the capital M, okay? Not small M and this is about product of sum. And when and then it only uh, considers and it considers the function which results in zero. And here, uh, zero will be regarded as true. For example, oh, this one is this, and this is will be result in. Sorry, zero zero will be a and one will be as inverted. Okay, in the POS term. Okay. So sometimes, um, usually we use SOP. Okay, for form of boolean expression but sometimes we also may use pos okay we may use pos to simplify circuits okay why we use it because sometimes the number of ones and zero are not balanced or symmetrical you guys can read this at your own convenience okay i okay you can pause the video and read for the one for those that not having the module with you okay um the method of so for solving pos kind of map is the opposite of the sop method firstly only zero outputs are used yes we consider zero just like i told you guys just now secondly in a, if a term is sop is requires bar in pos the bar is removed similarly if the sop term does not require bar now a bar is added lastly all operator are replaced with n or operator and by side yes of course, it uh, will involve the OR operator because it's product of sum. Remember, product of sum. What, how, how it look like? We have sum and product. Okay, product of sum. Okay, so we go for. Okay, for example, if we have this ABC, okay, truth table. For, this is as usual the com the possible combination that we might have. One two, one two three four five six seven. I miss one. One two three four five six seven zero one zero. Okay, what did I miss? Yes, I miss another one. One zero one. Okay. Now, then we have a uh, zero. I only put z the one with blue color is zero. Okay, zero. Then we have one. And have another two zeros and then we have all the the others are being as one okay so we're considering um the one that having function zero okay so we make the uh, the k map the corresponding k map using pos okay okay now the results of zero okay so we have zero at this particular location so zero 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 you have zero here then you have another zero, uh, zero zero one zero zero one and then you have what zero one one zero one one 
and the other one is one zero zero one zero zero okay and the rest is just one okay okay so in the PO uh, kind of made for max term we will consider the function uh, the function having zero value so uh, we make the looping this is the most possible looping that you may have okay only two and it's the the largest one and also the simplest one okay so here you observe that a is not common however here bc is common okay so here is actually b plus c correct because like i told you guys zero is a one is a bar and how about this zero is the common a, a is the common and you can see the other commons value is that your c is one so here for max term so you have a plus c bar okay so what is the function is a plus c bar and b plus c okay so uh, you know uh, when you have just like uh, in the previous lecture we have the equivalent mean term in its max term and we have max term equivalent in, in mean terms form so you can you guys can try it yourself here okay means this one if you try to prove right hand side to left hand side or left hand side to right hand side you you should get the same uh, answer okay so you guys can read it yourself here okay if you guys don't understand you guys uh, feel free to approach me okay now i want you guys to try okay all the exam all the exercise here 6.1 6.2 6.3 6.4 6.5 until the end 6.11 okay you guys try okay and um post in the forum as usual okay post in the forum as usual um exercise 6.1 to 6.11 for chapter 6 okay which is cannot map okay mm. thank you